In this video, we're going to go over the history of Killing Spree from its addition to the game in Wrath, all the way up until where it stands today in Shadowlands, and hopefully the future in Dragonblight. Killing Spree was added to the game in patch 3.02 during Wrath of the Lich King, and was a 51 point talent available to the combat tree for rogues. It caused them to teleport to their target, becoming untargetable, and attack with both weapons every half second until 5 attacks were made, as well as having a 2 minute cooldown with a 10 yard range. This ability always hit the target from behind to get rid of the chance for the enemy to dodge or parry the attacks. However, Killing Spree was a bit gimmicky at first. This is because it had a chance to attack mobs that the player didn't want to attack, as it picked random mobs within 10 yards of each other, and it also placed the rogue wherever the ability ended. So if the placement of the mob was facing a mountain edge or lava or something, it was possible for them to die after using it, giving it the nickname Kill Me Spree by the community. Some encounters were also either too dangerous to use on this, like Thaddeus and Naxxramas for example, because the rogue would teleport behind him and possibly rape the group, since positioning was extremely important on that fight. Or Kologarn and Olduar, as he had a giant pit behind him, meaning the rogues could not really use the spell during that fight at all. Other than that, it also had a unique effect of doing more damage with slow hitting weapons, as it was not at all affected by swing speed, and since swords, maces, and axes were a favorite weapon type for the combat spec to use, this passively gave the ability more damage. Killing Spree was changed in patch 303 to make all enemies targeting the rogue lose the target on them, and also to make the rogue unstoppable when it was being used, meaning that you couldn't fear or polymorph them while they were using it for example. But the rogue could still be attacked and damaged. The CC immunity did have some slight PvE power during raids or dungeons, like fighting King Ymiron as he'd shout and stun the entire party, but this gave Killing Spree quite a lot more power for PvP, as the rogue was now able to dodge incoming CC effects and do damage to the target if they were willing to pop this cooldown for it. In patch 3.1, it was buffed to increase all damage done by the rogue by 20% for the duration, along with the major glyph, Glyph of Killing Spree, it reduced the cooldown of this ability by 45 seconds, meaning the rogue could do a ton of damage, become fully immune to CC, and drop targets, making this one of the best cooldowns in the game during that time period. The rogue was also able to use Blade Flurry while Killing Spree was active, which made it also deal the 5 hits worth of damage to another nearby target as well, giving it more cleave damage if this ability was used before Killing Spree was. If used in open world PvP, it was able to hit the target on a flying mount, and was a popular way to gank flying players although you needed a safe way to land, a parachute tinker being the best way. In patch 401, during Cataclysm, the glyph was changed to instead just increase the damage by 10% and remove the cooldown reduction while also being changed into a prime glyph. In patch 504, during Mist of Pandaria, Killing Spree was made a baseline ability for combat rogues and this ability was absurdly buffed. Although the Killing Spree glyph was changed to a minor glyph, which caused you to return to the original casting position after it ended, it was compensated by having the damage increase from 20% to 50%, and the amount of times the rogue struck during it was increased from 5 times to 7, giving Killing Spree even more levels of power. Killing Spree also stacked with the rogue's Bandit's Guile, and with its more powerful proc, Deep Insight, Killing Spree would do pretty big damage, even more so if you got lucky with your mastery procs, as your mastery caused your main hand attacks to randomly proc an instant offhand attack. In patch 5.4, Killing Spree was hit with a small targeting change that made Killing Spree attack only your main target, unless you had Blade Flurry active, or if the target died before you finished. And with Blade Flurry active, it also made all of your attacks strike up to 4 nearby targets for 40% damage, making this ability quite good in small amounts of AoE. In Warlords of Draenor, the increased damage done during its effect was removed, but Blizzard increased the damage to make up for this loss at least. They also added the Enhanced Blade Flurry Draenor perk, which made Blade Flurry change to now cause your attacks to hit all nearby targets for 30% damage, making Killing Spree plus Blade Flurry a go-to AoE burst cooldown. In patch 6.2, the ability was changed from full CC immunity to just giving immunity from roots, knockbacks, and snares, making it lose a lot of PvP power that it had up to that point, and the effect was cancelled if the rogue was hit by any other form of CC, but that was it for Warlords. With Legion being released, combat was renamed to Outlaw, and with Legion 7.0.3 patch, Killing Spree was reworked again, and instead made a level 90 talent, meaning it would have no interaction with the artifact weapon, and it also no longer gave any CC immunity while the rogue was using it. And of course, glyphs were removed, leading to Killing Spree's returning to your original position being made baseline, as well as Enhanced Blade Flurry becoming in a part of Blade Fury, so it's always gave you the bonus damage to all by targets. Battle for Azeroth did a fair bit for the spell. First off, reducing the 7 attacks down to 6 in its launch patch, and also changing how it worked with Blade Flurry, causing it to still attack only one target, but deal 100% of the damage to the main target 
also to all nearby enemies, making it even stronger of an AoE ability. In Shadowlands, this ability is a level 50 talent that still does some decent damage and teleports the rogue to the target as it always had before, but it has seen some nerfs. The main one being Blade Flurry has been reduced back to 4 extra targets, causing the interaction to instead deal 100% of the damage dealt with those abilities to 4 nearby targets, instead of all of them making it still decent for at least some small scale AoE, while still finding itself commonly used, if not the most used talent for the Outlaw Rogues in their level 50 row. And that is where Killing Spree rests for now, an ability that perfectly captures the Rogue who's teleporting behind your enemies in a barrage of slashes and stabs, and hopefully we'll still see it in Dragonflight, especially with the new talent trees, maybe with even some more modifications for it.